I'm DMAC Wakefield. Welcome back into the next edition of Stay Scheme. And I wanted to get this out here because we have to talk about the most, you know, discussed play, we'll say, Monday morning after the Chiefs lose in Buffalo for their first loss of the NFL season this year. Uh, I think it's important to have some context on the entire discussion about whether it's Avery Worthy's fault, whether it's Patrick Mahomes' fault. And I do want to also preface this by saying this. This one play obviously could have changed the tide of the game, but it was not the entire reason why the Chiefs lost the game. Many different issues on both sides of the ball, which we'll be getting into as far as tell the truth on Tuesday. And of course, Kingdom Cast on Thursday. We'll talk about them there. But I want to talk about this specific play in the context of the entirety of the season between Patrick Mahomes and Xavier Worthy getting on the same page as far as the deep ball is concerned. OK, we're going to start off here. Week three in Atlanta versus the Falcons. Uh, heavy personnel said Xavier Worthy is going to be to the top of the screen. I want to highlight two common themes throughout the entirety of these plays. You're going to see Xavier Worthy getting open deep, which is important. Obviously, that's what his speed is there for. And you're going to see the safeties have to react to the other players that the Chiefs are putting out there and the concepts from that standpoint to help Xavier Worthy get open deep, specifically versus the safeties as well. First play versus Atlanta here. Again, going to highlight Jesse Bates, opposite hash. He's going to be paying attention to the the tight ends that the Chiefs put out there. He's already kind of nailing down. Gets to the top of the, the drop for Patrick Mahomes. Xavier Worthy is working on the safety to the top uh, of the numbers as well. Jesse Bates is going to be reacting to Travis Kelsey over the middle of the field. You can see him back up, come down, and that gives you just the window Patrick Mahomes needs to throw to Xavier Worthy. Now, it's important here from this standpoint. Patrick Mahomes here early on, week three, haven't necessarily connected yet. This is before the Chargers deep pass. Obviously, that would happen the week after. He is going to lay this ball short and leave it there. And, you know, he's just kind of trying to aim it to Xavier Worthy. This is something he had to do a lot last season versus with MBS. He has to do it the, the previous year so that they could get on the same page as well. Here, this is one of those situations in which the safety is on, you know, Xavier Worthy's upper left shoulder to me. You lead it away from him a little bit flatter as well. Instead, he leaves it in the middle of the field, and the safety is able to undercut it and be able to break up that pass as well. So, again, tried to aim it middle of the field. Really good job of the safety coming down to re or Jesse Bay specifically on the other side, coming down to react to Travis Kelsey, opens up the window to Xavier Worthy, and Patrick Mahomes tries to take advantage, but ends up leaving it short, trying to aim it in a similar manner that he did versus MBS. And Xavier Worthy, the separation that he created – both towards the sideline and away up the field goes to waste because the ball is short. That's an adjustment that Patrick Mahomes has to make accordingly in future things as well. So we're going to fast forward ahead to the San Francisco game. Now this is after the Chargers deep pass is completed for that big touchdown that ended up changing what it felt like the entire momentum of that game as well. I want to emphasize again, Going to get a split safety look. Xavier Worthy in a bunch for Travis Kelsey to the top of the screen as well. Patrick Mahomes is going to take the, the snap. The safety on the opposite ash is going to eventually get a little bit of depth. But then he also kind of starts looking down. It's like, oh, Travis Kelsey, uh, I've seen this before. Guess what? This is a levels concept. I got one guy running at me on my side. I got Travis Kelsey about to come open an intermediate. This guy's trailing. He's not reacting to it. Let me try and go help out on Travis Kelsey. So he stops his momentum. What that leaves is Xavier Worthy. Middle of the field, completely open, has the opportunity to get this pass as well. Patrick Holmes is like, well, okay, last one that I threw to him versus the Chargers, I laid it out there. He went and got it. The one previous to that versus the Falcons versus a similar situation, safety on the upper left shoulder of uh, Xavier Worthy. I left it short, and they were able to undercut it. This one, I'm going to let it fly. Throws it from the 20, <laughs> which is insane to say, to essentially the opposite 20 as well. It should be said, throwing the ball 60 yards in the air is crazy, but he throws it specifically on the line, kind of Tyree kills it, for lack of a better term, in which he throws it in the similar manner that he would, too, is just saying, I'm going to throw this as far as possible, and I expect you to go ahead and be able to run under it. Now, there's a little bit of question about if Xavier really slows down a little bit. I don't think he necessarily really slows down a little bit, but there is a slight hesitation in the way that he changes his route, in which there's a little bit, he's flattening a little bit, and then he's like, oh, he actually threw it straight up the field. I've got to go get it. And obviously, he's not able to get there as well. So that's one of those situations again. All right. Well, I, I you know, laid it out there on the first one to the, the Falcons. It was too short. I got to go ahead and, and, you know, throw it longer this time, specifically because of where the safety is positioned. It worked for the Chargers because it was more of a straight stack and getting ahead of it versus the 49ers. This situation, 
maybe throw it a little bit farther away towards the sideline because of where the safety is positioned. Xavier Worthy on this play, kind of running a skinny post, isn't able to get all the way to this ball, even though Patrick Mahomes, again, overthrows him a little bit. That's something that is put on Patrick Mahomes' shoulders from that standpoint. You got a guy creating deep separation. You got to put that ball on him, even if it is overthrown in that certain circumstance and you feel like you're trying to do the, the Tyree Hill thing. So we're going to fast forward here a little bit as well. Now we're going to get to yesterday, specifically versus the Bills. Now this is early on in the game. This is that drive that Xavier Worthy really was cooking, um, and they made a concerted effort to get him involved early, which I was really excited about. Uh, Xavier Worthy is going to be in the stack once again with Travis Kelsey. Pay attention to Taylor Rapp, the safety on the opposite hash, and how he reacts to the other routes that the Chiefs are going to compare this with. They go into a bunch set. Taylor Rapp is going to be playing single high in this circumstance. They're going to be playing man to man across the board, which the Bills did a very good job of playing. And they felt comfortable with these matchups because they didn't think they can uh, create enough separation. Well, guess what? On this route, Taylor Rapp goes to the single high. All this room exists at the bottom of the screen. DeAndre Hopkins is going to run his route accordingly, create some chaos in the middle of the field. All that does is allow Xavier Worthy to have a window towards the numbers to catch this ball. Guess what? Patrick Holmes puts it away from the single high safety, puts it in stride on the money. Xavier Worthy catches it, makes a really good contested catch. And it's important to note as far as the development and just the overall ability for Xavier Worthy, this catch is very impressive. It's probably the most impressive catch that he's made the entirety of the season. Getting hit from behind, being able to catch it in traffic with a, a little bit of traffic, you know, trash around his, you know, ankles as far as that's concerned as well. And a guy trying to cut you underneath does a really good job hanging in there, making the, that uh, that catch. And Patrick Holmes does a really good job of making sure this throw is in stride on the money so that he can protect himself from the Taylor Rapp hip. It's a little bit inside so that he can turn away from where Rapp is coming on the outside. He takes the hit, secures the ball, and that's a great, great play for what ended up being a score. So here we're going to get into the actual topic of this video, talking about the big miss shot later on in the game to Xavier Worthy. I want you to pay attention to DeAndre Hopkins at the top of the screen. Noah Gray aligned right next to Wanya Morris at left tackle. Those two players are going to draw the eyes of Taylor Rapp in the middle of the field off the play action fake as well. And what that's going to do is going to have him turn away from Xavier Worthy on the sideline. And it is important, Xavier Worthy at the bottom of the screen, going to run a pretty good route. So he's obviously going to watch where Taylor Rapp is. He's going to run straight at Taylor Rapp off the play action fake right here. He's like, I'm going to run right at him. I'm going to close this gap right there. According to the arrows, he's like, I'm going to close the space in between the two of them and I'm going to break right off of them. Now, right here, Patrick Holmes, top of his drop. He knows where Xavier Worthy is supposed to be going. Taylor Rapp's eyes are to the middle of the, of the field. Xavier Worthy has all the leverage in the world to run that, that route all the way to the corner as well. And look, this is a perfect align of where Xavier Worthy is running and where Patrick Mahomes is putting this ball. He's laying it out there on the in stride right towards the sideline, away from the safeties in the middle of the field, not too far upfield according to what the actual play design is. It's not, you know, you're not running a seam route. You're running, you know, what is essentially really a corner, not necessarily a post corner. You're running a corner route from that standpoint, and he puts it in stride towards the sideline. Now, look. Could that throw have been laid up more inside? Possibly. But again, important to note what happened in the Falcons game. Mahomes left it a little bit short. Safety able to undercut it, end up being in completion. Guess what he says here? I'm going to put you in stride specifically. I'm not going to put it too far upfield like I missed you versus the 49ers. I'm going to put it on you in stride so that you can run under it, make the sideline catch, and we get a chunk play out of this. That's exactly what he does. Savior Worthy fails to get the ball uh, in bounce. Uh, to me, I think that this is a fine throw, maybe not perfect, but fine, and a inexcusable mistake. And the second one, unfortunately, after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers mistake that Xavier really has made in the sideline and trying to bring these, these footballs in, that should be big games. He's got to keep better awareness of the sideline. This is an NFL wide receiver thing. He's got to be held accountable for that, and I'm sure he's being held accountable for that in the room. And yeah, Patrick Holmes is going to say afterwards in the press conference that this is on him, in my opinion. That's just him being a good teammate and the leader of this team from that standpoint. Other thing I wanted to highlight once again, when I talk about Taylor Rapp and where he's paying attention to, he sees Noah Gray running at him. He sees they really running at him, but he also sees DeAndre Hopkins on the other side. He's like, okay, well, th these guys are in breakers. I got to make sure I don't give anything up to them. And we got to get some extra attention on that standpoint. That leaves Xavier really wide open to that, that side of the field. The one thing I will say, 
if you wanted to say Patrick Mahomes was a tick late on letting this go because he does get to the top of his drop, and I'll get to it here. You can see when he gets to the top of his drop right here, he can let this ball go, and he knows where Xavier Worthy is going. But what this does is holding on to it for a little bit longer. It creates even more separation because, look, Xavier Worthy is breaking. Taylor Rapp is still looking to DeAndre Hopkins. Patrick Mahomes is ready to let it fly then. You can say that he's tick late. In my opinion, that also helps to create a little bit more separation between Rapp and Xavier Worthy. Ultimately speaking, if you want to say that the throw is a, a you know a three out of five or a four out of five, I think that's fair. Where it could have been a five out of five and maybe a little bit earlier, that that could be possible. That would have allowed Xavier Worthy maybe to turn up field and get to the end zone. But ultimately speaking, this is a catch that has to be made for Xavier Worthy. Uh, simply put, it, it, the ball is perfectly within those hash marks on the sideline. He's got to get his feet down inbounds. No doubt about it. In my personal opinion. So once again. All that being said, this is not the only reason why the Chiefs lost this game. They were beat on both sides of the ball. There are things they need to address on both sides of the ball. Some things that they've got away with, some things that have just been hampered them because of injuries as well. And again, this is something that is fixable on their way to the playoffs. Ultimately speaking, this is a team that's still number one seed in the AFC. They have everything in front of them. I expect them to still finish this season strong. We'll talk about it more on Tell the Truth Tuesday. Some of those things that they need to improve on and why they ultimately lost the Bills game. But I did want to get on here and show you guys a little bit of context as far as the deep ball passing and what has led up to Xavier Worthy's uh, issues on the sideline there and bringing in what I should, what in my opinion is a catchable ball from Patrick Mahomes as well. So uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy your week. Again, you can see Chiefs are nine and one. Take a deep breath; it's going to be perfectly fine as well. Hope you guys enjoy the day. Make sure you check out Tell the Truth on Tuesdays, Kim Cast on Thursdays. I'm D Mac Wake three sixteen. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace out. <laughs>